Hello lovely couples and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren, wedding planner and owner of Bluebird Creative. If you are new here, well, I provide a weekly dose of wedding planning goodness for the modern couple. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell because you'll be notified every week when a new video lands. This week, I'm going in with a slightly different video. Now, this is going to be my last video of 2020, as I will be taking next week off to spend it with my family. I haven't managed to get ahead with my videos over the last few months. That is one of my goals for 2021. So I'm gonna take a little time off to just recoup, take some time to breathe, reset and get creative so that I can come back into 2021 with an absolute bang and it is going to be exciting. But this week's video is a little bit more of a vlog, I guess. I'm not gonna be giving you any tips. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a review for 2020 and looking forward into 2021 and what my personal goals are for my business, personally, and what I'm hoping is gonna be happening in the wedding industry. So let's hop on into this week's video and I'm going to share a little bit of me with you guys to end 2020. So this is my 2020 in review. First of all, I have to share. So I have um, an amazing diary which helps me run my business. It's not just a diary, it's a planner. It's by Carrie & Co. It's the most incredible diary and planner if you are a business owner. And it arrives in this amazing box and I got it back in like October last year. I was so, so excited because it was the first time that I was getting this diary. I treated myself to it and I literally ordered my one for 2021 last night because it has saved me and helped get me through this year and keep me accountable for goals, etc. But it comes in this amazing box and she suggests, Carrie suggests that put your goals in there for the next year. So on New Year's Eve 2019, myself and my husband, we started writing our goals for 2020, what we wanted to achieve in business and what we wanted to achieve personally and as a family. And we were, you know, folding them up. We didn't tell each other what we were putting in. And we put them into the box and we closed the box. Now the box has been sat. You can see where I'm pointing here, that, that thicker book type thing. That's actually the box. It has been sat there all year and we haven't opened it. <laughs> and I cannot wait to open it on New Year's Eve this year and read the goals that we set for 2020. <laughs> because let's be honest, I don't think I achieved many of them, but I'm, I'm gonna post that on my Instagram. So make sure you check out that on New Year's Eve because I think that's gonna be really funny. Some of them I will have achieved, a lot of them I probably haven't because let's be honest, I don't think any of us expected this year to turn out the way it has. One of my goals I will share that I wrote down was I wanted a personal physical goal as opposed to like a business goal. I mean, I wrote loads of business goals down, but I wanted a physical goal. The year before had been to run a 10K. It doesn't sound like much and I've been doing plenty of 5Ks this year but it was my first year of having my second child and it was a physical goal for me to build up to, to be able to run a 10K. I'd suffered with my hips quite badly in pregnancy. So that was quite a big goal for me. And coming into 2020, I wanted another physical goal to really strive towards, to push myself mentally and physically. So this year I had aimed to climb the three peaks in 24 hours. So that's Snowdon, Scaffold Pike and Ben Nevis. Now, obviously that didn't happen. And we are planning on doing that in May, 2021. And I will be announcing that as well on my Instagram. And probably on here, I'll talk about the journey and the training as we go through it. So I'm really excited that we'll still be able to do that, but this year was not meant to be. So I'd set myself that massive goal. And obviously that hasn't happened. But who thought that the goal that I actually, or the challenge, that I would actually be put through in 2020 wouldn't be climbing the three peaks, it would be survival. I never thought that this year I would be put through my paces to literally just survive financially, emotionally, just everything. It has been a very, very rocky road and I am not the only person obviously that has gone through this. We have all been in the same storm, but we have been in very, very different boats. And this is just what I have been through personally as a business owner in the wedding industry, as a mum, as 
a woman. It has been so, so tough. And I never thought that that would be this year's challenge, not the three peaks. It's crazy when I think about it. I've just come back from a run thinking about my challenge for next year and, and realising that this was what I had to overcome this year. And it, it's crazy. It's crazy. So in my journey to survive in 2020 with a wedding industry that basically shut down immediately and has been put through its paces and challenged every step of the way. We've had an amazing people in the industry pushing for what about weddings and trying to keep our industry going. You know, we've gone from no weddings to 30 people weddings to 15 people weddings to 30 to 15 again to no weddings now that we're in tier four. It, it's been insane and it's been emotional for, for us in the industry and, and for you guys as well. I mean, gosh, you guys have been put through it emotionally. The biggest day of your lives and you have really just been put through your paces and tested and left in the unknown, not knowing whether you'll get married, when you'll get married, what your wedding will look like. And that's been really tough. And I've tried to provide you with some hope and some positivity through this channel. And I, and I really hope that it has helped you. As a business owner, I have had to postpone every single wedding that I had in 2020. They've all been moved through to 2021. And, and one of my couples hasn't even rescheduled a date yet because they just don't know where they stand. And in fact, one of my couples, as I'm recording this now, is getting married at this moment. Her wedding, her big wedding will be next year, which I will be a part of. But right at this moment, as I film this, she is in her wedding ceremony getting married. And that is so exciting. I feel emotional. That is so exciting to me that one of my couples this year has still been able to get married on the date that they wanted. It's not what they pictured, but it's about them and their love story which is blooming epic and they still get to be married, to be husband and wife, which is super exciting. As a business, I have gone from panicking, thinking I need to be a superwoman, which I did not, thinking that I need to save every couple, which I couldn't, thinking that I needed to help everyone in the industry, which was silly, but I tried at first, hitting a wall, needing to t take a step back, work on myself, having to postpone my industry networking event, doing bride boxes to try and fill brides with joy and positivity and just spread some love and a hug in a box. I then went to just trying to keep myself afloat. My husband works in the events industry and he lost his job. It was insane. And then October came around and we had another announcement and it just really hit me. And then I realised I'm harder and I'm stronger than this. And it's okay to not be stronger and it's okay to really feel it. But I think I've learned something about myself this year. I'm resilient. I'm determined. I work bloody hard. I persevere and I'm focused. And maybe that's the X professional ice skater in me. I was an athlete. I was a coach. I did that for 22 years of my life. So I think that has given me building blocks to deal with this year, which is insane. And I don't think I really realised that that was inside of me. So we launched Bluebird at Home. And those of you that are watching this channel may not know that I launched Bluebird at Home, which was where I was providing mini events in people's homes for six people. We, I provided the food. I became a registered caterer. I did the flowers. I came in and styled. We didn't get to do many because the rules changed again. So then I launched my cheese boxes. I started making Christmas wreaths. I became a florist and a caterer. I was making Christmas wreaths and sending out DIY wreath boxes. We did over 95 wreaths in total. It's insane. And I have 21 cheese boxes going out tomorrow, which is my final day. Well, I say tomorrow, it will be today when you're watching this. That is my final day of the year and then I am switching off. It has been insane. And the last two months has saved me and it has saved my business. So for anybody that purchased anything from Bluebird at Home, Thank you so much because you saved me. I feel emotional. You saved me. Whew. Anyway, this video is not supposed to be about negativity or what struggles we've been through or how hard it's been. We've had enough of that throughout this year, but I just wanted to give you a little insight into my story and how the year has played out. And I guess that's my review. It, it's been a challenge, but I have learned a lot about me as a person and as a business owner. And when I hear people say, oh God, 2020 has been rubbish. 
I actually can't turn around and say the same thing. 2020 has been hard. It has been so hard. It really has. But I'm grateful for it because I have learned about myself. I have learned those skills and those strengths that I have that I don't think I realised were there. And I have added to my business things that I don't want to take away. I have diversified and pivoted my business in a direction that really excites me. And I obviously am still in the wedding industry, but the at-home element really excites me too. And I cannot wait to develop that in 2021. So what does 2021 look like for Bluebird Creative? Well, more videos for you guys, focusing on the logistics as we always have done, but bringing in more style because that is me. In essence, that is me. I'm all about the style and styling things and making them look beautiful. We've already started the style series which you guys seem to be really enjoying and you are awaiting a video from me which is coming in January so do not panic and keep watching and remember to subscribe if you are watching out for it. The video how to create your mood board and your design bible that is coming the second part in the new year so do not panic. I'm going to probably start a style series for at home inspiration because you guys have really enjoyed that on my Instagram and once you're married, you may be wanting to style pieces at home and use that inspiration. So it's kind of a journey that we're going to go on together. So I'm really excited to start that series. I don't know how that's going to look just yet, but I'm working on it. So I'm excited about that. And perhaps the little break and the less stress over the next coming weeks will help me develop and get my creativity on because stress is not good for creativity. 2021 is seeing some new projects for myself, some new collaborations, which I'm really excited about. I've got something to announce in January. And in fact, two things to announce in January, which light me up. I've been asked to be involved in a couple of projects, which I'm just absolutely privileged to be a part of. There's gonna be new members of the team for Bluebird Creative in 2021, which I'll be announcing again in the new year. And again, it's just so exciting. I'm very excited, can you tell? So a lot is to happen, a lot is to happen. I'm gonna be climbing the three peaks, so, Again, I'll be sharing more on that story. I'm going to be raising money for Mime Charity because I think a lot of us have gone through mental health issues, problems, anxiety and so on this year. And I just think it's really, really important to talk about those things and be aware of how to deal with them. And Mime Charity is an amazing charity, so we're going to be raising money for them doing our Three Peaks Challenge. I'll be announcing the team. You can follow on with the journey. You can support us. You can you can donate to us. It's going to be a challenge and I'm quite scared about it, but I'm also really excited. I've obviously got all the weddings to look forward to with my couples, my 2021 couples, my 2020 couples coming forward through to 2021. So I'm really hopeful that those are going to go ahead and that it's going to be a really exciting year filled with weddings and lots of love. We're getting more inquiries coming through for 2022 already, so I cannot wait to meet them or any new couples that inquire and that we start working with over the next year. There is so much to look forward to in 2021. I feel so grateful. I have such a full heart and I'm leaving 2020 feeling really strong, even though I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> I'm leaving 2020 feeling really strong, knowing myself better than I ever have done. But I'm going to spend some time with my family because they really need it after the last couple of weeks where it's been absolutely insane. And I'm going to come into 2020 absolutely ready to, to battle the next year, to push harder, to grow my business more, to provide you with some amazing content just to make it an absolutely epic year. So there we go, guys. 2020 in review and my 2021 goals. If there's anything that you would like to see from Bluebird Creative, whether it's the weddings or the at home, then do write in the comments box below. I would love to hear what you guys want to see, whether it's video content, products in the shop, just anything, stories. What do you want me to share? Ask me questions. Just go for it, guys, because I do it to help you guys. That is what the business is about. It's about my audience, about my customers. It's about my clients. So let me know what you want. I hope you have a fantastic fantastic Christmas. I know 2020 has been hard for everybody and I wish you a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, a very happy new year and I will see you in 2021 for some very exciting times ahead. It's going to be good guys. <laughs>
can't be like 2020. But I hope you can see the positives that have come out of this year and not just focus on the negatives because I'm sure that there have been some even through the tough times. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic Christmas. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.